power in the name of Jesus. Father, I release your fire in our ears. Now, I declare your ears open, mommy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What happened to your ears? Block this one. What happened to your ears? My ears. Yes. When did it become deaf? About five years ago. Five years ago. Uh, that this one blocked. Do you know that God loves you so much? Can I give you a hug, mommy? God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody clap your hand to Jesus. You are healed, my brother. Let's leave it up. Seven times. What's your name? Frida Mode. What happened? Frida Mode. What happened to you? I used to have waist pain when I gave birth to my last child for four years. For four years. I can't, I can't stand for long. I'm only sitting. For, for, so for six months now, it has been like fire on my waist. As I lift up my hands and I was praying, something like cold just came around my waist and everything disappeared. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hand to Jesus. I had this serious pain in his neck since 2019 and when you gave the word then the pain disappeared sir so what's your name let him talk michael what happened to your ears to your neck my neck i have been having a very serious severe neck pain since 2019 i've gone to many hospitals many prayer centers for a solution but all was no avail but as we were praying now the pain just relieved and I can't feel it again. You can't feel it? I was shocked, yes. First come. How many know him? How many people know him? Do you pray from here? You, you come to church here? You visited your friend. Where is your friend? Leave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, and she came to service with a serious eye problem. Eye problem. Yes, and she said now everything is gone. She can see very well. Mommy, you first come. Hallelujah. What was the problem? Huh? I was having a serious eye pain. Yeah. So it started long before I was when I was very young, and um, it, the pain was too much. Sometimes my eye gets very red. But you said put your hand in anywhere you have pain, yes. and I did put my hand. Firstly, I was saying, God, will it go? And something said to me, don't have doubt. And then I put my hand fully in the eye and then the pain left. You me. see, something came to her and said, don't have what? Doubt. Doubt is one of the greatest factors to your hindrance. Leave your hand and say, I believe. I believe. Say, I believe. I believe. What's your name, ma'am? Faith. So your eyes was just paining yes. throughout from childhood. Now there's no pain. no pain. Somebody clap your hand to Jesus. Chuku, chukuma, chukuma. Yes. This pain was for how long, sir? Two weeks plus now. You could not bend your knee, your legs. Yes, sir. Which side? The boat. Boss. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. I just woke up one morning and it was just like that. That I I have to start sleeping before I could walk in the morning and I can't even like move freely during the day. You first do frog jumps here. Frog jumps. We want to see whether your knees is here. He touched me. He touched me. of the hymia and abdominal pain right now she said the pain and the soul and part of the body has all disappeared Come here. those who came in front 
keep on praying in tongues. Just speak. Pray. Before two minutes, the pain will all leave your body. So I came with a report. Yes. From the doctor. And I was scheduled for a surgery. You were scheduled for surgery. For, for surgery, yes. yes. So I came with the report today. I've been Where is the report? It's not my seat. Somebody first help bring a the white envelope. Bring a white envelope, please. Yes, sir. Angels and Eagle Specialist Hospital Limited. Mm. Radiology report. Those three was for the surgery. These three. All yes. this you were supposed to be operated. Yes, sir. Umbilical anions pelvic inflammatory disease you you the fibroid i know somebody say jesus what, what happened yes since 2009 this young lady have been having serious pain in her breathing as a matter of fact, she came with her inhaler to church this morning. Yes. So each time she prays, she feels pain. And she can't even hit her chest. But as she gave the word, and she began to do what she could not do before, she began to breathe in, and she began to hit her chest, the pain disappeared. Since 2009. Since 2009. Yes, sir. She had an asthma. Yes, sir. Father, thank you. What's your name, little girl? Leave your hands. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hand to Jesus. Pastor, there's a testimony here. This is the lady you prayed for. Yes. I could not kneel. Right now, she says she can kneel. The pain on her knee is gone. This is the lady we prayed for yes, before, before we you start started. to preach. Yes, sir. Come here, ma'am. How many remembers the people who came and we prayed for them before we started preaching? What was it? I have swollen knee and I can't kneel down. So I had when you said it and I have to run and come at and you prayed for me. Yes. And I went back, I was telling God that I used to evangelize that he should heal me. Now I will use this leg to serve him. So that was how the new pain. Before I even came out, I have to try it again. Oh. And it happened. You are a what has happened? The pain is no more there. I cannot kneel down. Before you first kneel and we see. Sir? First kneel and we see. We want to see. And she kneel? Yes. No more pain. First get up. Get up, mama. Don't hold her. Run here. Run there. Run fast. You run. Run. Somebody clap your hand to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen. Everyone give your hand to Jesus. And shout and say there is a river. So when you spoke to those that have problem in their ears, yes, he started to put his hand in his at the right side of his ear, yes, and then the, so right now he can hear with the right. He couldn't hear before with his right ears. Let him first come. You come with him, Pastor. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Like this. One. One. Ten. 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 Five. 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 Four. Four. Eleven. Eleven. Sir, for how many years was that deafness? Eighteen years. Eighteen years. Yes. Sir. Hey. 18 years you could not hear at all what what, what was the problem you could not stand for i i've been in the hospital for two weeks i was just discharged yesterday i've been in unbearable pain Unbear i could not stand i could not walk like my husband has been the one doing everything even while i was coming here i my leader called me yesterday and she was like i should try to be i told her even if i had to crawl i will come here while I was coming, my husband was delaying and Where I wanted to sit. I don't know, maybe he's in the overflow. I wanted your husband to be is a good man. I want to see that man. Where is he? He's Where is probably outside. 
I wanted to sit inside the church, so he was delaying, and I said, no, I, I will just come. Yeah. I could not walk from the, S, from the house to the bus stop to get Keke here. At some because point, of pain. I was, because of the pain. The pain is unbearable. I've been on drips, injections for two weeks. I did double evacuations and all of that. Multiple what is evacuation? And all of that. Oh. Yeah, so there were retained um, particles that was causing the pain and needed to come out. The first one that was done was not successful. They had to do another one with all that pain I was going through and all of that. But while I was in the overflow, I said, God, there is no way in this world I will live here with this pain. And I was just putting my hand on my stomach and I'm not feeling the pain. Even now? Even now. It's shocking, it's surprising. Please give God another one more day.